Hello, everyone. Let's flip this around. Here, look. can we do this? Orientation is locked. Uh, crap. All right, we can do it like this. Camera set up. Okay, here we go. It's crooked. Let's make it uncrooked. Can you see the whole screen? I think so. All right. So, hey, we're doing a YouTube live, so a little rusty on these. Um, so, anyways, this video is going to be on how to hit the ball straight. So, I'm going to give you some tips, some pointers, and some instruction on how to hit shots straighter, things you should look for, things you should focus on, so stuff like that. So um, let's grab a club, grab a golf ball, and let's hit some, right? So how to hit the ball straight, right? Essentially what needs to happen is you need to have your club, uh, club face and your swing path match up with the correct angle of attack to hit a shot that goes straight, right? So. We set up to the ball, we are loose, we're ready to go, and we hit the shot. Hit the shot, ball flies off, little drop, right? So pretty straight shot. Now, um, what's happening? What's going on? Uh, again, if you look at the numbers down here on the screen, uh, I think you can see them, you should be able to see them. You'll see the path uh, is 1.4 degrees to the right, the club face is 2.3 degrees to the left. Um, the ball went 148 yards and it finished at 3.2 yards left of the intended target line, so to speak. So, and our angle of attack was negative 2.4 degrees. So let's look at the data and let's, let's uh, evaluate and see kind of where we're headed, right? So I see a lot of common problems with people trying to hit the ball straight is that they try and use the same swing with a driver with their irons, their short irons, and meaning they're trying to get behind the golf ball, trying to launch it up into the air and uh, you know let their hands kind of flick through an impact and things like that, trying to get the ball up in the air more. And uh, when you're hitting your irons, you're hitting your shorter irons especially, that's not what you want to do, okay? So I find a lot of people hanging back on their, on their right side for right handed player or their, I should say trailing side, hanging back on their trailing side a lot uh, with these short irons. And what happens is you start to see balls hooking left or pulls left or big slices to the right. And one of the early tips I'm gonna give you today is you wanna kind of feel like you're really getting onto that left side a little bit more with these shorter clubs. Now obviously if you have a golf swing where you slide hard to the left through impact, this tip might not be the best for you. This tip is for those people who like to hang back too much. And so what happens is I want you to set up for your shot and I want you to move the golf ball back in your stance to hair and I want you to feel like you're really getting onto that left side more at impact. is we have a much straighter, uh, much more controlled ball flight. And if you see on the numbers up here, our angle of attack went to negative 5.6, which is exactly where we want it to be. We want it to be between, like, like, like I like it around 4.5 to 5.5. So right around that range is where I'm trying to get it. You'll see, I mean, so on that shot, everything looked pretty darn good with the wedge. And so little tips like that, little, little slight adjustments, like getting your way a little bit more forward at impact and having that ball position be uh, in a better spot at setup delivers us much better results that we're looking for here. Now, if you notice, both of those shots turned over to the right a little bit. And what's happening is my club face is a little bit closed uh, at impact, closed on the path line, not necessarily closed to the target. If you look at the numbers, these numbers right here, you'll see that the uh, face is close to the path. However, to the target, I'm still, uh, the face is slightly open. And so if we want to make a slight adjustment, we will 
focus on keeping that club face a little bit more open through the shot. So we set up. Again, we just make that adjustment of the ball position a little bit more back in our stance. Focus on getting that weight forward, and we will hit the shot. We keep getting a tighter and tighter ball flight, which is what we want. We want that very, very tight ball flight. Uh, that one finished 2.2 yards to the left. So the first one was three yards to the left. The second one was dead straight around target at 0.1 yards to the right. And this next one was 2.2 yards to the left. So if you look at the dispersion, um, That would be these ones right here. Pop, pop, pop. And so if we want to go a little bit more, we're going to say, hey, let's really work on getting this face a little bit more square and see where it takes us, right? So we'll set up to the shot, make our adjustments that we talked about. And we see here that we've made some more adjustments, and that shot finished 3.3 yards to the left. However, we achieved that straight ball flight we were looking for here. We got the club face a little bit less closed. We got our path very, very neutral. And so we produced a shot that went incredibly straight, albeit a little bit left, due to the still slightly closed club face at impact, which means you can still have a closed club face at impact, and produce a straighter ball flight, but it will come up a little bit of a pull. Okay? So we'll do that one more time. See if we can have this finish right on target. No, 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 no. That's the worst one so far. So that's a good one, that's a good one to look at, right? What happened on that one? What went wrong? What was going on? Um, as we can see here, the club face shut down a lot more through impact. And I can tell you exactly what happened. So I came into the golf ball, my hips kind of fired to the golf ball instead of rotating, which caused that club face to shut down. I need to make sure this club face stays square coming into the shot. So let's do that one more time. And that, my friends, is a very, very, very straight ball flight. Yeah, numbers look really, really good on that one, right? Five degrees attack angle, eight attack angle, you know, one degree right on the path, one degree left on the club face, you know, great club head speed, good distance. The distance number's off, it was a misread on the spin at 29.95, that's just not possible with a pitching wedge. <laughs> um, so that was just a misread, last two were misreads with the spin. So that distance number's off, it would not go that far. Um, looks like I got like a half read <clears throat> with the spin. Should have been closer to 6,000, I think. So anyways, what we're seeing here is slight adjustments in six shots go from us hitting a a uh, slight draw to the left that's now giving us a ball flight that is really, really good. Okay, that's, that's, that's really good. 0.9 yards to the right, that's three feet. Okay, that's three feet. That means if you have those kind of results and you take dead in the, in with the flag, you're going to have three feet, which means you're not going to miss too many greens at that number. Okay? That's a really, really straight shot. So let's kind of go over what happened, right? So we hit our first one. We noticed the curve to the left, right? It curved to the left because our ball position was a little too far forward. And that means our club face likes to close down a little bit more due to the arc that you're swinging on. So what we did, we moved the golf ball back a little bit in our stance. That'll help straighten up the club face some. Then we made sure that we focused on getting our weight a little bit more forward and to our left side more at impact. 
to keep from falling back on the shot like we do with the driver. So those two adjustments straighten this out pretty quickly. And then we focused on making sure my hips didn't ro roll or uh, uh, kind of slide to the tar uh, golf ball here at impact. Focus on them rotating through and getting that club right on plane through impact with a square club face. Okay, so those are the changes that we made right now to help produce really, really straight shots. So let's try and do one more and see if I can duplicate that, right? Set up the shot, go over everything in our mind, make sure we're all good to go. Very straight. 1.7 yards to the left. So that's like four and a half feet, right? Four feet, four and a half feet, somewhere in there, five feet. That's, that's, that's very, very straight. It's a very, very, very straight ball flight here, okay? So with these simple changes, again, we're, we're getting some really, really crystal clear results in, in just a matter of swings, which is exactly what we're looking for here. This is kind of fine-tuned work we're talking about when we're hitting we want to hit straight shots, okay? So yeah, again, these tips work great for someone that's falling back on their trail side too much, or not getting onto their left side enough uh, at impact. These are great tips to help you hit the ball straight. Now, let's say uh, uh, you're on the opposite end of the spectrum, right? Let's switch clubs. Well, let's go to the opposite end of the spectrum. Say you're the person that hits the ball too far uh, Say the person that gets too much on the left side, okay, on their left side. What do you need to do to hit the ball straight? So typically someone that gets on their left side too much hits uh, a peelers to the right, right? So if I set up here and go to hit this shot too far on my left side, you know, there's my peeler to the right, right? You are really steep. You're sliding into the shot. I mean, look at this angle of attack, right? Too steep. 9.5 degrees angle of attack. This is an 8 iron. This is an 8 iron. That's way too steep, right? So let's talk about straightening up that ball flight. So we already, uh, so it's kind of like the opposite with what we just talked about with the pitching wedge before. We're on the trail side. We want to get more onto the trail side. So if you're jacked up on this left side too much, you want to have that weight be distributed uh, more even, okay? So more 50-50. As we come into the shot, we still wanna make sure we get to our left side, but we wanna make sure that we're not firing to this left side too early. So we wanna try and delay it a little bit. So we will set up to the ball. We'll move the ball position a little bit more forward versus the last shot, okay? We'll get our weight distributed 50-50 uh, a little bit more, okay? We're trying to delay that slide to the, that weight transfer to the left. Pretty straight ball flight, right? Let's do that one more time. See if we can hit it a little bit more solid. Good weight distribution. Ball position a little bit forward of the, of the first shot. And let's hit it. Very, very straight shots. That one, 0.1 yards to the left. The second one, 1.9 yards to the left, okay? Making these simple adjustments when you know what to do makes the game a whole lot easier, okay? It doesn't have to be super complicated to hit these straight shots, okay? So we want to just make sure we know what we're doing, we're figuring out how to do it. Um, and again, with these videos that I'm showing you, I'm teaching you how to make these uh, simple corrections. And you may not have all this data. You may not be able to have all this access to all this data. That's fine. Just look at your ball flight, right? If you hit this lower peeler to the right, and you thought you hit it solid, odds are you're just getting too jacked up on your left side. Okay, so, so at the driving range, make a simple adjustment, see what happens. Okay, make a simple adjustment, see what happens. If you need a second set of eyes and you have a buddy there with you, explain what's, what you think is going on, 
ask him what to uh, ask him to look at something. Okay, and by telling him and informing him what the, what to look for, you're able to, to picture in your mind's eye and, and, and develop these skills and improve a little bit faster. Okay, so by having an understanding of what's going on, you'll be able to improve faster. Okay, and that's a lot of the stuff that we try and teach here at Tyler Dice Golf. We want you to get better faster. We want you to have an easier time getting better. Obviously, it's not rocket science to hit straight shots. Okay, you don't have to have the best swing in the world. You don't have to have the best body in the world. You don't have to be the most in shape person in the world to hit straight shots. You just have to have an understanding of what's going on, an understanding of your game on how to change what you're doing to produce the desired results. Okay? So that's all I got for you on this video. I really appreciate y'all tuning in and watching it. Um, if you like it, you're enjoying the content that I'm giving you, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Um, and if you have any questions in the comments, I'll be sure to check through the comments later on and read through and see if I can answer those questions for you. Uh, so that's all I got. I'm in the video now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you.